Hi everybody, it's me, Waffle Dog. I'm bringing you all a World of Tanks gameplay today in the Object 268 Tier 10 Russian Tank Destroyer on the map Swamp. I'm in a platoon with my friends Big Money Galaxy and our newly acquired platoon mate Bloom. I met him this day so I don't really know him too well but he's a great player so we decided to go ahead and platoon up with him. Now I've been taking a break from tanks for about a year up until the last month or two so a lot of map changes, including the ones to Swamp here, then moving the flags, changing these areas of the map, making them more brawl oriented, are very, very new to me. Indeed. So I'm very unfamiliar with this. I don't know what to do in a tank destroyer, and you're going to see that in this gameplay. If I had to sum up my thoughts on the 268, I'd say it's probably the perfect, uh, what's the way, best way to put this, the perfect standard tank destroyer. So there, it's not really, it's not an autoloader like the Waffle, it doesn't have that defining feature necessarily in my opinion, it's just a tank destroyer, you know? If you think of tier 10 tank destroyers, it's this, it's this thing, if you think of a tank destroyer. This is the image that pops in my head when I hear the word tank destroyer. Other tank destroyers, such as the Fosh 155, it's heavily armored at the front but nowhere else and has a great autoloader. I look for a shot here on the Tanks like the FB215D 183, it's got that gigantic gun, that's its defining feature. Let's see what else comes to mind. The 263 has got that ridiculous frontal armor and good DPM. But this is just a low profile sniping machine. It's got excellent penetration of 300 through on this 152mm gun. And it's got a good solid alpha damage for its tier of 750. Well, what other TDs can I really think of that kind of are more unique? T173 kind of in the same realm as the Object 263 where it's very heavily on the front And this Waffle is not in a good spot. He's going to get shot right here. A lot of that, a lot of the damage going into him there from that front I believe. And then yeah, it's just the most basic of the tank destroyers. That's, like, that's, the, that's the best word for it, it's basic. And if my voice is going and kind of coughing, it's because I have recorded this commentary now three times with my mic muted, and I just now figured out what I was doing wrong. So... Yes, um, you can tell this is definitely not something I'm very experienced at. Anyways, I've decided I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm just going to go all the way up here and fight with the heavies, and that's exactly what I do. Bounce my first shot there off the T-57 heavy. That's okay, that was never going to pin. I should have aimed it better or not even taken that kind of shot at all. So instead of just taking another bad shot, I screwed up further and looked for something else. I'm in front of all of our heavy tanks in this one. It's kind of fun. Look for a shot on that E3. It doesn't work, it just donks right into the ground. But that's alright. Conqueror does the exact same thing. We've already dealt with that T57 heavy, the TCQA and the FB215 dealt with him very well indeed. Now here I look for a shot on the board, I believe, or is it? I'm not really sure. But I nail it with a very bad roll shot 575. I could have gotten a lot more of that shot, but I don't. I even acknowledged to myself and my team in the chat tip was that 575 roll. It's sad, but that's RNG. That's the, it's the game I'm playing, you know. You can't get mad about the game you're playing if you choose to play it. Another shot. It goes a little bit higher from my gun, but I didn't aim it all the way to be fair. I still just kind of turned. And now the heavy tanks are up here with me, so they'll be taking some of the shots that I would be taking. This is not how I'd recommend to play this tank, obviously. This is not the way to play an it. It's just how I'm doing it in this game. And I got a good roll in this match, I got lucky, and this was the result, and I'm very happy about it. Our T-62A and our team already has three kills, he's just been eating up tanks. T-75 I can see by my XVM has a stock turret, so I'm going to be able to land a shot right into his turret top slash viewport. He's got that stock turret. Too. And I can tell as well, I wouldn't even need the doctor indicator because I can see right here 337 damage from his gun. That's not a, a top, top tier. That's not a fully upgraded E75, and I know that. Drop a shot right into his turret. That's always going to end with this gun. Move on. I want to keep on getting kills, keep on racking up the damage, so I aggressively move forward. Looking for a shot, looking for a shot, looking for a shot, and I find one on the T1. T1 10. Type 5, type 4 heavy, and I nail it, in, and Commander's Hatch. 
I want to shoot this T-130, but I'm nowhere near loaded yet. So I start to move up as I get close to being loaded, but the T-34 is hard to so he actually has the shot, and he takes it and then nails it. Now we've destroyed this flank, me and my platoon, and the rest of the tanks that are down there, let's credit them as well. So now, they're not going to come out, this Kanavan and Fort Sig, they're not going to come out and look for shots here, they're going to either wrap around or fall back, and that's what they do. This Kanavan comes right around and gets away my platoon, starts working him over. He gets one shot into him. I stop and aim. Before I can even aim to fire, he takes one shot into four. I take a pretty decent shot from the mouse there. I don't know what I could have done to avoid that. I did not expect him to just pop up right there in the middle of the map. But it's okay because my platoon mate in the FB2 and FB2 starts farming damage off the mouse. And that's exactly what I do. Nail one right into his turret cheek there, which is a very easy target for this super high penetration gun. QA also takes a shot but misses or bounces. And now I take another shot into the mouse turret. He's angled well. Almost as well as he could angle against me. The only thing he could really do better is have a building in front of him, which obviously he can't just materialize buildings in front of him to sidescrape from. Takes another shot from the T62A. And a second before I finish him off. And that shot goes right into the machine gun port on his gun. This gun's penetration is just absurd. I love it so much. The one downside of playing this tank like a traditional tank destroyer is that the shell velocity is somewhat low, and here's a mistake for me. Why did I aim to take that shot? Just letting him one if we have free damage. Just the one big goof I have in this match. I could either take this shot, clutch, and then run, or just run straight up and hope he doesn't get the shot off on me. Here I look for a shot on the SP1C because he shot me, and I gotta get revenge for him trying to defy my Soviet justice. But I don't get the shot, so I'm reloading HE so I can be sure I roll high enough. Because I know I'm going to pen with 90 penetration on this little thing. I'm just not sure if I'll roll high enough. Because I've against some pretty criminally low rolls in this game. And he just runs into a... Enemy armor is destroyed! Decides to die. And I, of course, pen and kill him. So there's only one tank left. I really want the top gun here. So I'll ask for it in a second. I think that's okay, but at the same time, you do still have to earn it. And I just wasn't close enough to this last little fight here. I was too greedy for that. SP1C or SPIC kill. Sadly, of course, I cannot get the final kill as our PC QA teammate finishes off the M103 and ends the game. So, yeah, that's the Object 268. It's a really fun tank to go running around in and shotgunning people in the face with your big, meaty 152mm gun. This isn't how I'd recommend playing it, but it can be done if you're decent enough. And that's all I got. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. It's my first Wallace Hanks video ever. Hopefully there will be more. Hopefully there will also be League of Legends videos. If I'm talking a little funny, it's because it's nearly 5 in the morning. And I've been working very hard to get this content out for you all. So I'd appreciate it if you dropped a like. And maybe subscribe to my channel. There will be more good stuff coming your all's way. Thanks, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.